Hey there, tennis fans. I'm James Watterson, and I've got your tennis news from what has been a very busy weekend, so let's hop right to it. Now, the big story is the Davis Cup quarterfinal match between Spain and the United States. Spain defeated the U.S. 3-1 with some absolutely sublime performances from Feliciano Lopez and David Ferrer. On Friday, Lopez narrowly beat Marty Fish 8-6 in the fifth set, and Ferrer took out Andy Roddick in straight sets, giving Spain a big advantage going into the doubles on Saturday. Now, the Bryan brothers won that match, which gave American fans some hope going into Sunday, but Ferrer produced yet another outstanding result as he beat Fish in a four-hour match that included two tiebreakers. Now, this was an historic win for the Spaniards because it was the first time they beat the United States on American soil in the Davis Cup. Spain moves on to face France in the semifinals, which will be played in September. France dismissed Germany 4-1 in their quarterfinal tie. Meanwhile, Serbia routed Sweden 4-1, and they'll face off against Argentina in the other semifinal. Argentina dominated Kazakhstan 5-0 in their quarterfinal. Besides Davis Cup, we also had an ATP tournament and two WTA tournaments finished this weekend. John Isner won his second career title when he beat Olivier Rokas at the Campbell's Hall of Fame Championships in Newport on Sunday in straight sets. For you trivia nuts out there, it was an exceptional match because it is now the final with the greatest height difference between the two players in ATP history. Isner is 6 feet 9 inches tall, while Rokas is 5 feet 6, so I would imagine it made quite an interesting match to look at. Now on the women's side, Roberta Vinci of Italy won her third title of the year in Budapest and 20-year-old Polona Herzog won her first title, the Swedish Open. Although these weren't big tournaments, we did see some change in the rankings because of them. Isner moved up 10 spots to number 36, and Denis Kudla, the 18-year-old American who upset Ivo Karlovic and Grigor Dimitrov in Newport, jumped 57 spots to number 337. Fish, last year's Newport champion, dropped to number 9 because he didn't defend his title. Now, there was no change in the top 7, and world number one Novak Djokovic has an almost 1900 point lead on Rafael Nadal, the world number two. For the women, there were no changes in the top 22. Vinci moved up to number 23 because of her win in Budapest. Herzog jumped to 16 spots to number 37, and her opponent in the final, Johanna Larsson, went up to number 46. For all three women, these are career highs. Finally, eight-time Grand Slam champion and Olympic gold medalist Andre Agassi was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame on Saturday. Now, much of the early focus was on his academy, the Andre Agassi College Preparatory Academy in Las Vegas. One of his school students sang the national anthem, and he was introduced by another student, Simone Ruffin. In his speech, he said touching things about his father, his wife, Steffi Graf, Darren Cahill, Brad Gilbert, and his friend, trainer, and mentor, Gil Reyes. Now, he also thanked the sport of tennis, saying it has given him everything in his life, and it has enabled him to find his life's work. We'll include a link to that video on YouTube, which you can find below. Now we've got four tournaments going on this week with some of the game's top players. Robin Soderling is the top seed at the Ski Star Swedish Open this week, and he is joined by David Freire and Thomas Burdich. Gael Monfils and Jürgen Melzer are playing at the Mercedes Cup in Stuttgart, and Julia Gerges and Flavia Panetta are the top seeds in Bad Gastein and Palermo, respectively. Now make sure to keep checking our website to know how your favorite players are doing this week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great week.